The Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology have already studied the possible hazards that Bataan Nuclear Power Plant may pose in case of its restoration. Ray Palaya will tell us why. The Bataan Nuclear Power Plant is located at the southwest slope of Mount Natib. But FIBOC said, based on the charcoal deposit that they have tested, the last eruption was 27,000 years ago. It means the possibility of another eruption is low. Nag-try na kaming i-map out yung mga deposito, tingnan yung mga bata, masyadong makapal. Lumang-luma yung mga deposito ang nakita ng ating mga geologist. At kung i-operate man yan, kailangan din magkaroon ka ng sensor. No? Napamonitor ng earthquake activity kung sakali man. The plant is also less likely to be affected by a tsunami because it is located 18 meters above the shore while the possible height of a tsunami that may hit the area is only up to 8 meters. FIVOX also found no fault line under the nuclear plant and the nearest is the Iba Fault which is 60 kilometers away. But even if the fault will move, including other faults like Manila Trench, Philippine Fault, and West Valley Fault, it can withstand the intensity if the plant's design was strictly followed. Assuming na maayos yung pagkagawa ng planta, yung disenyo nga ay mas mataas pa sa inahasa paglindol. Meanwhile, the Philippine Nuclear Research Institute said it would take five years to set the plant operational. The PNRI is the regulatory body that will ensure the safety of a nuclear plant's operation based on the set standard. They said that location and structure is a big consideration since its first safety analysis report was submitted during the 70s. Acceptable naman yung kanilang uh, study na yun. But that is at the time, 1970. So if there is new evidence, there are new studies, then we have to look at it. The 1990 earthquake did not damage the plant even when Mount Pinatubo erupted. Nuclear plants with the same feature as the BNPP are still operating in Korea, Brazil, and Yugoslavia. Ray Pelayo, UNTV News and Rescue, Quezon City.